I'm Bob Lentini of RML Labs. I'm the creator and developer of the Saul Studio software. Join with me now as we embark on a Saul Studio orientation tour to become familiar with this exciting interface. What you're watching is happening live in real time. Witness the power, speed, and efficiency of the Saul Studio virtual environment. As we begin to look around the interface, you'll notice many different windows and views. Each serves a special function, and many will work together in tandem, as you'll see in a moment. One of the most important features is the ability to combine all these windows into workspace views, available for instant recall, as you see here, at the touch of a function key, 24 in all. The first view we'll explore is the full mixer view. Kind of like stepping back and getting an overview of the full 72 stereo channels of the built-in console. The icons at the top give us instant access to various portions of each channel. The patch bars denote where processing is engaged. From any channel of the full mixer view, you can double click one of its icons to get an instant zoomed exploded view of that portion of the channel strip details. Notice this view floats up or down, thereby giving you direct access to every knob, switch, and control the console offers. Mixing becomes a new experience. You find yourself easily reaching across 72 channels worth of console, setting switches, grabbing knobs, making adjustments, creating that perfect mix without ever leaving your monitor's sweet spot. The power of the exploded view is further enhanced in the zoom mixer view multiple channels of detail displayed simultaneously. Assembly language programming allows this view, no matter how large, to float as freely as the single channel exploded view. Hot zones give you the ability to jump the zoom mixer view with one mouse click to any specified section of the channel strip. From here, it's a snap to activate switches, change settings, adjust controls, and further fine tune your mix. Here, we're selecting an equalizer frequency from a pop-up menu of choices, just one of the many ways to make adjustments in the virtual console. Here, we're setting an equalizer Q factor. Note the demonstrated performance capabilities here as this very real project session is negotiating a full performance mix and edit processing live solely in the virtual realm. And with the mention of edit processing, we now focus on the multi-track view, the very heart of Saul's non-linear, non-destructive environment. Here's where you label your tracks. Here's where you visualize your audio. Here's where you cut, copy, paste, stretch, shrink. Notice here in an expanded multi-track view, you can see live zooming of the audio even under heavy load. These waveforms can zoom all the way down to one sample per pixel with no hesitation. Look how easy it is to use the combined power of this interface. Select a track from this view, switch to another view, get an instant magnified visual. Select the sax from this view, instantly see it in this view, magnified and zoomed. Even left-right mono tracks can be viewed with the proper workspace key as a stereo pair. Truly unbelievable power. We mentioned earlier that certain views can work together. The multi-track and the mixer views can be linked, which makes for an incredible interface experience. Observe the module on the left chasing the selections that I make in the multi-track. For instance, select the sax here, get the sax here. Again, select the bass here, get the bass here. Every control at my fingertips, even though my focus remains in the multi-track. This also works from the full mixer view. Even though your focus is here, selecting a channel causes the multi-track to link and display that channel's waveform. Very powerful. For instance, select the bass here, get the bass here, and get the bass here. Again, select the sax here, get the sax here, and here. So as you can see, large-scale virtual mixing is no longer just a dream. Taking things even further, Saul Studio gives you a truly virtual look at an entire console channel at once in the wide mixer view. Here you can compare and adjust all settings for any channel from one location. Of course, you're free to scroll from channel to channel, comparing all channel settings against the other from the same screen. This also applies to any plugins that might be patched. As you scroll from channel to channel, the patch windows chase and give you instant access to any processing plugin settings. Soul Studio gives you access to an almost unlimited supply of plugin selections. 
as it supports the DirectX protocol, its own internal native API protocol, and the VST protocol, and the VSTI synth protocol to be used in conjunction with the MIDI workshop add-in. Another handy feature for getting around the interface, the I, R, and O hot zones. R taking you to the return channels, O taking you to the output channels, I taking you back to the input channels. This also works with other views. R, all return and aux master channels, O, all output master and submix channels, all at the click of the mouse. Here you see me on an output channel, live patching in my frequency spectrum analyzer. As it's on the output mix bus, it displays the entire mix. Notice also, it's just as easy to remove the plug-in without stopping playback. And by the way, this entire demonstration is being done on my laptop, a 1 gig processor with 512 megs of RAM. I'd like to point out the kind of power we're really talking about here. This current session we're playing is using close to 100 bands of live high-resolution EQ. This EQ has a 118 dB noise floor and will match or surpass anything in the industry today. At the same time this is happening live, we're using close to a dozen gate and compressor combinations. Again, all built in and live patched in the virtual environment. This is the kind of mixing power and processing power Saw Studio brings to the table. At the cost of 144 channel console, 72 stereo mastering EQ, 72 gates and compressors, 144 tracks worth of recording medium, and it's easy to see why Saw Studio represents one of the best values in audio today.